Hey guys, thanks for clicking on the video. It really means a lot. Before we continue, did you guys know only 0.1% of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed? So if you like the video, consider subscribing. It's free. Enjoy the video. So I've recently run into a problem where the system services in the iDirect 6 module would be disabled in the BIOS and I wouldn't be able to access either of the two. And I've tried everything uh, going off of the BIOS to try to change all that and it still wouldn't work. I even tried taking out the iDirect to see if that would help, but it didn't change anything. It would uh, try to initialize, but it wouldn't initialize. So I'm uh, going to be showing you guys how to fix that today. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to unplug the power supply. Make sure both of them are unplugged. After that, you're going to be taking out the iDRAG 6 module. And for this is an R710. It may be different for um, for whatever different servers you guys may have, but if you have an R710, this is the location of the iDRAG 6 in the back of the server to the right. Uh, if you don't know where iDRAG 6 is, you're going to you just need to look at the back of the server cover, and it'll tell you exactly where all the locations for everything there is that you need to look for. Um, after that, you're going to go ahead to the front of the server and you're going to clear the fleet power. You do that by holding down the power button for three seconds and then letting it go. After that, you're going to go to the jumper location, which is located here. Um, if you don't know where it is, again, look at the back of the cover of the server and it'll tell you exactly where the location is. What you're going to do is you're going to take it from where this location is now and put it parallel to the one that is in front of it. So on the diagram, you can see it right there. Make sure that the jumpers look exactly like that. Once you've done that, you're going to plug in the server, plug it in using a power cable. I'm not going to do it to mine because I've already fixed the problem and I don't want to start a problem again if I don't have to. So you're just going to plug it in. Simultaneously, when you're plugging it in, look over here and there's going to be a green light that's going to come on. Once that green light comes on, wait about three seconds after plugging in the server and then unplug it. Once you've done that, you've cleared the NVRAM. Now, here's the tricky part. This may be different for everyone else, but so far after uh, a lot of testing, uh, it seems that as long as the iDRAG 6 is out of the server when you turn it on initially after clearing the NVRAM, everything should go through smooth. So the system service is enabled and then the iDRAG 6 should go through its little thing. So when you initially put everything back together, make sure that the server does not have the iDRAC 6 in it. Initially go through the uh, the BIOS and everything. Uh, as soon as you turn on the server, press F2. Once it goes, once it gets past the iDRAC 6, then you can go ahead and shut down the shut down the server and then uh, put the iDRAC 6 back back in uh, after coming out of the uh, the setup which is pressing F2 so um, yeah that's a uh, that's that's pretty much it uh, if you guys have any problems uh, go ahead and comment down below and then you know I'll try to help you guys as best as I can but so far this is what's worked for me and uh, as long as you don't put the iDRAC 6 in uh, after putting uh, after doing everything I just told you to and putting it in afterwards then you shouldn't have any problems. So you have to turn on the server twice. I just want to clarify that with you guys. You have to turn it off once when you're doing the clean the NVRAM and then turn it back on when you're going through the setup and making sure that everything shows up properly. And then afterwards, you're going to turn off the server and then you're going to put the iDRAC 6 back in and then turn it back on. And then that's when everything should be fine. Thank you guys for uh, watching the video. It means a lot. Um, if you guys liked the video, go ahead and like it. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. Tell me where I can improve. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and post them below, just like how I said earlier. And uh, yeah, uh, it means a lot. Thank you guys for watching the video, and uh, see you in the next one.